So we're doing yours. Sens, what's up, dude? All right, so I'm going to do Dragasson shit right now. Um, I'm going to do a couple coachings, and then uh, we'll do in-house 5v5. Normally on my stream every Tuesday, I try to get some games with subs to say thanks for being subs. If you like the stream, consider subbing. It really helps. I try very hard to make the sub community awesome. We've got partner Discord server. Uh, we've got sub games. Uh, I'm going to start branching out and doing new games. Uh, anytime that there's like a multiplayer game, like say I play H1Z1, I'm t I'll normally uh, consider adding subs into the mix uh, to say thanks for supporting the stream. This is a small stream with a crazy good sub community, so I always want to keep that. Now, uh, without further ado, League of Legends coaching with Nice. We got Wukong. Is it? It's jungle. Okay. And, um, yeah. We're going to do Wukong coach or Wukong jungle coaching. Wukong's weird. I haven't seen a lot of him. I, I swear to God, I didn't see, like, any Wukong in Korea. Strangest thing. Why do you feel that match or that playing matchmaking is not worth it? Is because of auto fill matchmaking. It's just because I think that once you reach, once you get to high elo, I think the game's really unhealthy. Like you're just playing for 55% win rate, and it's it just gets tiring. It gets tiring wasting a lot of time losing games because of others. It's really boring. Good news is until you get to high elo, you don't have to worry about that. Um. I see this again. I guess that's fine. Alright, so we're doing... I, I don't like this, dude. I don't like the chicken start. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. You'd be better off just going uh, red wolves and blue than whatever the fuck this shit is. Where are you going? Yeah, you deserve what you get here. <laughs> okay, this Shaco is playing. He's playing some some real clown music. I'm gonna be honest. He did kind of one of those like, how do you do? Is that the twenty? Thank you, Price Aaron. Um, that was, that was bizarre. Does he just leave completely? Okay, that is some... Yeah, that's not... Okay, so let's... Let's back up um, to the... Okay, so you, you took red and then went to chickens and then went to, red, or to blue. So let's next time just go red, wolves, and then blue and then decide what you want to do. This Shaco is a moron. If you're Shaco, guys, and you want to invade, you'd be better off. You would be better off just starting on red side if you're going to do a blue invade. If you're going to just invade level two, anyways. I don't know why you would start at the back corner of the map and then go all the way to the other corner of the map to invade. That's retarded. The reason why I'm telling you to go red, wolves, and blue is because the pathing is smoother, the clear is smoother, and you'll take less damage. So by the time that you get to blue, You'll be there a little sooner. You can take blue. You'll be level three to do a level three gank top, mid, or keep farming your jungle. Go to scuttle and defend that, whatever. You're facing a Shaco, so it's probably more important that you get your XP and defend your buffs. Here, the only reason why Shaco even allows you to have a buff is because he's a clown. He's a clown IRL and a clown in game. Because good Shaco would have simply just dropped a ward or something and just waited until you started the buff and then fucked with you but he just played it he pathed wrong you played it horrible so uh your pathing was kind of crap and you just luck out in my opinion that's how this goes yeah so we take grump 
And now we're gonna what? We're gonna gank Aurelia? Okay. Good. Mmm. You played this pretty well, dude. I like how you played that situation. That was great. <clears throat> that was smart. You didn't like face check the box or anything. That was great. You kept the short trade. You didn't go too crazy. I'm on board with that. And then you counter jungle. This seems risky to me, but you do have smite, so it's not that bad. And Shaco doesn't, he's running uh, Ignite, so you're probably going to be able to get out. So it's okay. And then you do, you walk all the way over to Wolves. <clears throat> it looks like you're going to do like a full clear, I guess, from here. I'm okay with that. So far, not that bad. Other than your path, um... Your early game hasn't really been that bad. Now, that said, it's Wukong Jungle, so there's not a lot to that in terms of, like, your early game. Uh, but how you played this was all right. I really just hated your open. Your open needs to be better than this. But so far, so good. I don't, I don't really mind any of this shit. There was, you didn't do anything, like, horribly wrong here. Um, this is like one of those moments where I look at a situation and I'm like, well, this is like, this is strange. So you're at the top side of the map while your red buff is spawning. Yeah, dude. I don't know about this. Um, you're going to take Shaco's chickens instead of defending your red. Like, what if the dude... You don't have any vision of Shaco. So, what if the dude takes your red? Are you just giving red away? First question. Why, like, why aren't you defending your red? The whole time... You path all the way over here, and then you skip skip scuttle and then go to wolves. Why not take this and then go to red? Because if you take this, watch. If you take this and do red, and then you'll be very, very close to six. If not six, you might even be six off of red. I'm not even sure. And then you'll be able to... Do a gank. Execute a gank. But instead, you don't go to your red. You don't defend red, and then you do chicken. So I don't agree with this. This is a very inefficient... Like, whether or not you get this, whether or not a gank comes off of it, you get something done. This is, like, not good pathing. This is bad. In the future, I want you going... Like, you should have passed Gromp and just went straight to your red, grab six, and then decide to gank bottom or mid... Or, you know, battle for dragon. Whatever you got to do. This is just... This is bad to go to gromp into chickens like this. I don't approve. So now we don't have... We don't have red buff. Our team's invading Shaco. We're waiting for blue. Now, this is all well, like... And I want you to understand that I'm not saying, you know, it's not like you're feeding. It's not like, you're, but in terms of jungling, you need to understand that when you play jungle, guys, it's not, I'm just kind of farming and doing whatever I feel like. You should have, you should have a plan. And the, one of the main things about jungle is when I have red buff, I gank, which is why most junglers will start red buff. So that they can go and invade or do a level 3 uh, fight top. 
Or if they start blue, they're doing blue so that they can get level 4 and gank bottom with red buff or gank mid with red buff. Basically what I'm saying is everything kind of centers around you hitting power spikes between red buff and your ult. That's, that's, that is that's jungling in League of Legends. Do I have red buff? Do I have ult? If I have red buff, I could probably gank something. If I have ult, I could probably gank something. So... In the instance of Wukong, who doesn't really have a re uh, reliable early game, your goal, just like if you're playing fucking Rumble, Vi, whatever, your goal is to farm up, get your level 6, or like Hecarim or something, and then as soon as you hit level 6, you're looking for action. After you take Gromp, there's no reason to not go for red and then look for a gank on the bot lane or mid or whatever, right? Like defending dragon, whatever you gotta do. But this weird path into the chickens really bothers me because it tells me that you're not thinking about, like, what power spike you're trying to hit. That's all League of Legends is. Taking a champion, figuring out what his best window of attack is, and going for that window ASAP. So now we're level 6 with blue buff. We're wandering around. Don't seem to know what we want to do. And also, in terms of gank selection, why not? gank bottom like why aren't we focusing on this it's fucking zyra and jen that's an easy gank all right that's a very easy gank for us even anivia might be an option So here comes the gank. I don't know what that was. That was not that was not the key to ganks. I, I just, my question is like, I don't understand why you didn't just hit that. I guess if you jump that and you're wrong, I guess that sucks. Okay, that's fine. Next question is, let's be a little bit um, more offensive with our pathing. Where the fuck is my, hold on a second. I need Epic Pen back. Why path this way? They're never going to, like, are you just hoping that they don't see you? And even if they don't see you, why would you go this way? Why not path behind? You're Wukong, you have flash up, you have ult up. They're, like, there's no counter gank that you won't be, don't even lead with fucking W here. Just walk this in and see what they do instead of pathing like this. What the fuck? That was wild looking. I didn't see that uh that that skill shot. So so far it's kind of a passive game. Which is technically what you want as Wukong. You would like that. Alright, so Aurelia TPs, Jace chilling, pushing top. Nice. That was huge. That was well played by you guys. I like how you set off on the side there. That was well played by you. I have no problem with that. Uh, itemization. It's fine. You're going for like damage. Also fine. As far as I'm concerned. And now we're doing a full clear. So I like that. Um, I think that in the future... Uh, we could definitely optimize our early game pathing, especially like that was so good by you. I really, I, I really think that most players would not use the vision that way. So really, really good job. And you got flashes. That was great. Well, you, you missed Jin's flash, but he, is, he noobed out and didn't flash for some reason. Decided he didn't need it for whatever reason.
Okay, there's nothing we can do mid. Now, here's the, the good thing about jungling is once you've successfully ganked the bottom, that means you just do it again and again and again and again. Once, it, it's, once it's worked once, the beautiful thing about jungling is that you just do it nonstop because now they can't, like, now they definitely will not be able to stop you from ganking them. Um, so you are pathing towards mid. Don't know why. Don't know why. Would much rather you just go into the brush and try to get another engage off. You have an amazing engage with Nautilus, and these guys don't have any summoners now. Jin will still have his flash, but either way, you could just blow people up. You just got a 2-0 start. So all you have to do is put your ult on someone, and they lose in bot lane because of that successful gank. So you really should be trying to weasel into the brush down here constantly if you can. Jace draws pressure, doesn't die. That's what you want to see as a jungle. Uh, Rise goes to bottom. Mid is even, break even. So you go like you're looking for top. I don't know about this. Can you even kill this guy? Hmm. I'm not going to lie. I'm... I'm a little imp I'm 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 kind of like You really can't kill him. Did he fuck up? Stun. Wow. Yeah, that was a good selection. I probably, I, I, honest to God, I would not have gone for that. That's actually really well played by you. I wouldn't have gone for that. Um, if, if Aurelia has ult, she beats you. So I'm going to assume and give you the benefit of the doubt that you know that she didn't have ult. But even in that many minions with her having tabbies and that build, I, I would not think you'd win that. That's nuts. Cause she she had two levels over you too, so that's good selection by you, dude. I wouldn't have I would have been scared to go for that. I would have been like, man, this is gonna be close. Yeah, she she must have ulted during the two v one. But I guess we know. I guess we know the truth. So this is a great path, by the way. You path all the way down the bottom. I really want to see you go for an engage with Flash here. Nice. Don't Flash. I don't know if you needed it there. These are the situations where I really want you thinking about holding it. I want you to. Sh I want you to see why I said. Uh, I don't think you need it to here. Watch. And I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you could. You could execute without it. I don't think it's the worst flash ever. I'm pretty sure you could finish the kills without it though. Like, even if the Zyra knockup goes through, I think you're fine. But this isn't, like, a terrible a terrible play to flash. It isn't, like, the worst thing ever. I'm just trying to optimize. I'm glad you're hitting tower. That's what I want to see. What happened to you, though? Did we get punked? Wow, he got a lot of damage on us. Um, that that was pretty close. I'm I'm fairly confident that like hitting the tower is the right play long term. 
I just think it's it was weird the amount of damage that we took on the end there. I thought we'd be able to get out. Maybe maybe your biggest issue was that UW'd there. Actually, yeah, that's probably what that's that's probably our biggest problem here. Cause I think the W was unnecessary. I want you to see you kind of W for no reason. And as a result, I think that you could have gotten the tower and W'd out. And I, yeah, I think that's what went wrong is that you just, you wasted your W essentially. <laughs> yeah, we can pull the uh, scoreboard up. Oops. I was wondering, like, why did this go bad? And I think that was the main reason. Is that you UW'd, and I think you should just walk away and then re-engage. You just hold it out. Because you don't really want to die, dude. Like, I get what you're doing. You're trying to get the tower down. But you really, you can't afford to give away freebies when you're this fed. It's, it's a surefire way to give someone that was behind a big boatload of XP and gold to give them a chance to catch back up. Not to mention space on the map. So Jay's fighting Aurelia. He's having a really tough time. You engage in. You definitely have the kill here. And then you should jam because Jace is a Muppet. And yeah, you should definitely get this tower down. I would be very scared of Wukong here. Or Wukong, of Shaco here. W out. Good job. And then re-engage with Rise. That's good shit. By the way, you can tell which one the real Shaco is. Fuck. I messed that up. So Rise snares. Shaco's gonna ult. I want you to notice the real Shaco, he he is being micromanaged. Like you just have to pay attention to shit like that. And you have the you have the guy that's giving the buff. But yeah, that was weird. See how see how that fucking persists after he ults that that particle. But I think Rise kind of fucks you there, to be honest. These deaths, um, the first one I think is avoidable. The second one, probably like you didn't have to re-engage. Here's the issue: is that you went full damage, so that's kind of. You could also tell because it rise stacks around him. Yeah, exactly. Has what? Has smite debuff? Yeah, let's look at that actually. I'm going to slow it down really slow so we can see. Okay, the smite goes on him. That's it right there, yeah. And we can see the particle, you see that? That's what I was saying with the particle effect. And that also has, um, that has the smite debuff. What about the armor? That's another one too. Like the armor shred debuff too. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of hard to do it on the fly. But yeah, I mean, in these spots both times it was that the most important thing was to get the tower down and survive. And you need to understand that you went full damage. So Shaco's like able to blow you up pretty easily. 
That's one of the things that I would definitely try to clean up in this replay so far. Is that every time that we got towers down, we needed to just fucking bounce and make sure that we lived. To me, that's to me that's the most important thing. Is I actually like that you're focusing towers down. It's just notice how I called it out before we went into this little looking at the clone shit. Right here, I said You get the kill on Aurelia, and I was like, Yeah, get the tower down, but be ready, be aware of Shaco. From this point, in terms of like what we need to do as players, guys, all we need to do is survive and it's super worth. If we die, it's still worth it, but it's it is giving people an opportunity to catch back up that we don't want. And here we just barely, you know, Shaco barely lives. Or whatever happens, right? However he lives. And then, now, yes, we got the tower, but we're, we're slowing our momentum. And the more fed we are, the longer our spawn timers are, so it hurts us the most when we die. Gives the enemy team XP and gold. Um, and if we are the only carry left in the room, like, if we're the only carry left in the room, which is sort of how this game feels right now, Jace is a Muppet, Rise is a Muppet, you got Muppetville, we can't give away freebies. In terms of, like, what we gotta do to win long-term, we can't give away any. So they get Infernal also because we die. Because our spawn timer's longer. A uh, really good attempt by you to go and pick up Jin. I like that. That was that was smart, using Ghost Blade and Clone. I like that play. Mmm. This was your worst play. This was just rushed and weird. Um, it was just a very, very weird play by you. You have no follow-up. So, in terms of, like, uh, the first 20 minutes, this was great by you. Um, even your fuck-ups at the towers were not, like, really bad. But this play is, without a doubt, butt-tier, dude. This is butt-tier play. So, let's look at this again. They obviously know you're here. First off, you're not fooling anyone. They know you're here. They just saw you clear a ward. So you can be, you can rest assured that in low elo, if some guy is walking up to a place that he knows where you are, he he know if he knows you're there, he's he's got a plan in his mind. So he's got exhaust anyways. He's got all. He's got teammates to help him in his mind. He feels good about it. And we don't have the vision here. All right. So that play, on the whole, really sloppy. It's not worth killing that that Zyra. And you need to remember that you're the carry. Every death that you give away really hurts your team's chances because you're the carry right now. They would kill for you to die like that over and over again. Because the odds of your team winning a 4v4 are pretty slim, right? So we can't give that away. And if you were to go in on that, just make sure your teammates are like, like you're going in here. Just make sure that your teammates are like rotating from here at least, right? But they weren't. They were all this way. They were all back here and you're just 1v3, right? Don't want that. Let's talk about this one. I don't think you needed to ult or to flash. This was another one. Um, I think you were in a great spot to not have to flash here, dude. Do you honestly think they're going to react like, like super gods here? I just don't get, I don't get why you think you needed to. As a side note, um, in terms of spacing, you can take off from here as opposed to here. 
so at, for Wukong, um, I get using your flash to secure things, but here I just think that it was not needed because there's no way they're gonna react in time. You had the E. Look at look at the E, dude. You had the E right here. Like there's no way. There's no way. Yeah, also, yeah, blasting plant. You could have maybe gone around. I don't know if that would have been worse though. If they see if they see it and back up, then it's gonna be really bad. So I don't mind the the path thing. I would just say take off from here because they can't have vision. I'll show you. They can't have vision. So you can just take off from here. And like Yeah, dude. In the future, just fucking just fucking Go for the E to connect and then keep your flash up. That way, right here, you would have been able to follow along a little smoother, I think. And that's the thing, man. I did Wukong, like, 100 games to Diamond way back. So I know that, like, this seems kind of lame to be like, you know, you flash too early. You, you left... You left the bush. You could have left just outside the brush. Like, it sounds dumb, but Wukong's kind of one-dimensional in, in the way that, like, he doesn't have a... Cre especially in the jungle, he doesn't have, like, some creative, like, early game jungling shit that he can do, like, a Lee Sin. He doesn't have, like... He literally lives and dies off hitting a good ult or a bad ult. So, for people that are thinking, like, whoa, that's not telling... That's, that's one of the things that, like, that's all we have. We have to make sure we do it to perfection. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts. Like, we have to hit the ult. We have to keep our flash if we can keep it. We have to get maximum damage off of our ult. We have to get the best engages because that's all we do well. Mmm. That's really well played. You were a little sluggish on this. Um, but, you know, shit happens. As a, as a side note, you can always fake there if you want. But uh, I don't mind that attempt because you get... I think you get her flash and her exhaust and Aurelia's TP. Which is technically worth... Um... So I don't mind that trade at all. It probably would have went smoother if you'd reacted a little cleaner here in the brush, but it's not that bad. That's a good like in comparison to your trade earlier, that's a way better one to take. If you're if you're gonna die and you have a chance to escape, that's a way better one. That's a really good play. Getting the ult engaged and surviving and doing dragon. This is all really good, dude. This is a rough one. This is a rough one, dude. You got 10 seconds on ult. I don't know where you're going. You could definitely push bottom. Like, yeah, I don't know why you leave there. Uh, I would definitely want you to fuck with Shaco sometimes here. And stop his push. I mean, you're big, and Shaco's splitting, so it's not like you're both canceling out lanes, so it, it's not a bad thing to go and stop that, that push. <sighs> what in the fuck was that?
Why not take the blast plant here? This one, this time I'm like, well, definitely take blast plant. They don't have any vision of you. Yeah, dude, take that. Bro, flank that. <laughs> you just need to get behind him. It's, it's, it's Anivia. She's not going to be able to jump over any walls or anything. Just... What a mess. Yeah, definitely, that's that's just, uh, you're not thinking about what Anivia does. You definitely want to get behind that guy. If you get him down, that is so huge for this game. No reason to rush that. What are they, why are they doing Baron? Misfortune. This misfortune. I have never seen someone with just more asinine positioning. Look at how she. Look at what she does. I want you to see race car misfortune. She literally. She literally goes, like, all, like, look at what she does. Look at this path for a second. Watch this shit. Watch this misfortune. You see that? Look at that path. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> Holy. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, dude. Um, this one's a pretty rough one. I think I think that you're before I, I'm not trying to to blow you and be like you're the best and or anything like that. You need to understand that what you're facing or what you're dealing with this game. This is kind of what happens when you play a jungle like Wukong. And I know that sucks to hear. There are things that you could have cleaned up, okay? So like the tower deaths, we could definitely clean up. The pathing, we could clean up. We gave away a freebie over here uh, and a, just a really bad engage. Um, in terms of that last fight, I know I was flaming on the the misfortune really hard. But let's go ahead and look at your actual fight for a second, one more time. Because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident that we should have been able to do a little bit more here. So let's let's break this down just for future reference, okay? I don't know why you think you need to rush to engage this, first of all. This is not something that you have to rush into in that you have plenty. They just started it. There is no way that they're finishing this already. This can't even be close right now. And it's not, right? They just started it in front of you. So when you're faced with these types of situations... And also, I'm pretty sure, um, yeah, your team's not in position yet. Play it a little slower. Do You know what's a really good move? And I want you to keep this in your arsenal for the future. I played a lot of Wukong um, last season. What's a really good move in spots like these? You W, okay? And you act like you're going to go in. So you walk at them, sh like fake it. And then walk back. You don't even have to W. You can just walk at them and act like you're going to do it. Be like, I'm going to ult you. They have to disperse. Okay? So you don't have to go crazy here. Just remember that with Baron... Oh my god, that's the worst B I think I've ever... That's a bronze B. With Baron, whatever happens... Like, if you pull them away from it, they're not finishing it. And Baron is dealing out damage to your opponents the whole time. So use that Baron as sort of like a, 
as sort of like a, a, a defensive, like a turret, okay? So if you pull them away, so say you move two people away, that's less DPS to Baron. That's less DPS to Baron. And now Baron is dealing damage to individual targets. And so you don't have to do this like hard engage. Baron has like two thirds HP. Yes, you get the kill. Yes, the engage is good. But we're talking, you're, you're getting coached. Like, we're talking about optimizing the shit and making it even better. And that's one way that we can do that, okay? So now, as a result, because we didn't allow Baron to do more damage, and we also didn't split people away from Baron, now we get sandwiched. Our team has less time to get into position. And you see why I'm trying to... Why I'm trying to teach this to you. And then we get the misfortune fucking... Arrgh! Right? This fucking race car misfortune, dude. Look at her. Oh, I gotta shoot some. Oh, oh, I'm gonna ult. Oh, oh. Why not just ult first? Instead of doing whatever that was. That was ugly. Yeah. Yeah, so that's how we can make the situation even better for our shitters, okay? Um... It didn't even go that bad for us, really. But yeah, your teammates are... Yeah, MF went full caveman. Uh, this Anivia looks like a caveman too, but, you know, Jace isn't very intimidating, so it doesn't matter. Alright, uh, we have Edge of Night now. We're pretty big. And they get Baron. So that's probably GG. Your Rise gets killed because he's dog shit. And um, I don't know if I try to defend that tower. I think I give that one away. Don't try to defend it. No, 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 no. Give it, give it, give it, give it. You want to hold here? This is what you need. This spot is where we want a fight, right here. And if they don't push, we don't want to rush it. We want to wait for Rise. No, 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 no. Don't you do it. I'm going to be mad if you do it. No. No, just wait out, Baron. There's better. No. Nope. 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 I'm amazed. I... Honestly, honestly, I would never do that. Like, I mean, this is super thin. You're lucky. You're lucky it goes as well as it does. Um. Because I'm going to be honest, if, like, Zyra's floating around or Jin ults from the side or whatever happens, um... I, yeah, I don't like that one. I would rather just wait for the Baron, or wait for them to siege a tower and then engage and then go for that. That just seems way too risky to me. But, it, you know, it works out. Basically, it's like a high variance play, right? It works out that time, but I wouldn't do it every time. So, Shaco gets out, takes tower, Rise does a weird flank. What in the fuck is this game? You're doing red. I don't know about that. First, okay, let's back up. First off, why the fuck are you doing red when they're sieging? No, this is dumb. This is this is a dumb play by you. Fuck red. You need to be you need to be somewhere like threatening. Like I said, fake. Do clone fakes. They don't know you don't have ult. Fake that shit. That's retarded. Don't take red there. Help your rise out. Whatever you got to do. This is like. This is the shit that tilted me when I was in Korea. Every every important moment, someone's doing a fucking buff. Skip the buff. You don't need it that bad, and it's not going to change the outcome of the situation that drastically. That That's not happening. That's kind of crap by you. Don't ult, please. Good. So we get Jin down. We survive the Baron push. We get drag. Earth drag. 
You shove bottom. Shaker resumes push. It. I think you should stay there, dude. Is that a 20? Thanks, Jeffrey. Love you, dude. Talk to my mods. Here, Shaco's definitely going to push again. So I would dude, just, just wait and pressure him here. You, you, I think you should try to pressure him. And you don't have to try to kill him. Instead, try to get him Try to get him to panic and use his ult and leave. That's a really good move. If you want, like, you know you can't kill him, but if you can get his ult and not use your ult, then you can burn Shaco's ult and leave. That would be clutch as fuck. Just a good, just a good idea for you. These are the games where we have to come up with shit, like, ult faking, um trying to get people's ults down. Like, we have to do every advanced trick in the book to carry our shitters. Let's see how crazy you get here. I think you were kind of, like, trying to make this happen too hard. you live that's so good for us that we live there you can't stay because Shaco's gonna flank you too often like oh god I'm so scared for you you get uh I think you get Zyra's flash exhaust that's pretty good by you and you live nice this was really this was good I don't know if I like the spaz flash engage but i think it was almost I, I i don't know if it was terrible because i think this game is just getting harder as it goes on because your team is really bad dude like i'm giving you credit where credit's due i think you could potentially win this if you played a little bit better but your team was this is this was bad That's probably game. My only complaint about this last fight, which is probably going to be the loss, is that you didn't get the ult onto Anivia here. So see how you just took the first thing that you could find? Um, really need Anivia. Like... It's, it's imperative. See how we never got her down? In terms of, like, who was the biggest problem on the other team, the Anivia was, without a doubt. Like, the Anivia is ten times better than your mid, and in terms of, like, what Anivia mid, who's good, brings to the table versus uh, Wukong jungle, who knows what he's doing, Anivia is going to have the edge over you. So you're going to have to kill the Anivia in order to win this game. So that last fight, um, shot selection there is pretty crap. Like you have, like she has to die. That's the only way you're ever winning a team fight. She's gonna control every fight because she's so much better than your mid. Um, overall, dude, I think that the biggest issues that I saw in this game was jungle pathing. Like you took a weird path early that looked messy as shit, and you didn't path for uh, red right away when it was on respawn. And I think that you should have camped the bot lane, like. You should have put that on emphasis a little sooner. And then the tower deaths, yes, you can clean up. We talked about, like, saving your clone and spots like that. We talked about fake uh, fake ultying to get the most value out of situations where people group. Definitely experiment with that more. Um, but this was probably... This was about as close to a Mateem game as we've gotten in a while with the coaching sessions. Like, this was... I just... This was rough. Like, very tough game. Um... And you did a lot of good things that I think that most Wukong players would have done badly. So I think that you did a pretty decent job of, of getting getting a close game out of something that would have normally been a mess for like the average player.
So, good job. I think you can improve a lot. But this was a very, very good game. If you did nothing but play Wukong Jungle... Then, um... And you played it like this, and you improved on the stuff we talked about. There's no reason you don't you don't improve from this point. All right, YouTube. I hope you enjoy this. If it makes it to the channel, I love you guys. Please like, subscribe, all the bullshit, and I'm out. Peace, cracks. Thanks so much. Bye.